Um, he's 24. Do you think that's too young? Well, I just don't think we've got the right to tell anyone they're too young or too old or too whatever to have, have feelings or to yeah. have whatever. I mean, my stepdaughter at the moment is 23. She's got this lovely boyfriend. They're really, really in love. Um, <clears throat> but if I'm honest, if she turned around to me tomorrow and said, I'm going to get married, I would say, get engaged 500 times. Get engaged to everyone first. <laughs> because I think we just change so, so much. I mean, if I was now with the man that I'd met when I was 23, I, I'd have divorced him over and over and over again. But can't you say that about every time in your life? I mean, mm. I don't think my mum feels the same as she did 20 years ago and she's in her 50s. So are you ever going to stay exactly the same? And can you, can you guarantee that the one person is going to grow with you? No. Or... Well, I think it's a good point. I mean, when is the right age to get married? And that's yeah. why I think 500 engagements is really good. <laughs> <laughs> all of those rings. Yeah. <laughs> and my, my mum and dad met at 15 and 16. They were married at 20 and 21, and they'd had me by 24. And they're still together now. And, mm. you know, they look like they're doing all right. <laughs> they still <laughs> get on OK, and they, they still love each other very much. Um, but that was their relationship. I don't think we have any right to tell anybody that, yeah. you know... Some, some people meet and fall in love in five weeks and stay together for 80 years, you know, oh, yeah. and you just don't know. I think every relationship 